Soon after, Batabi Lamini was served with a letter of disqualification from the Electoral Committee, Tony Yengeni II. According to the rules of the committee, those found guilty of a serious crime for which the prison sentence has been more than six months are ineligible to stand for an NEC position or that of the top six. Earlier this year, Lamini was found guilty of perjury. She was sentenced to four years in prison or the option of paying a 200,000 fine. In 2003, Yengeni was sentenced to four years in prison, having been found guilty of fraud in a case linked to the arms deal. Both have been critical of the president with regards to the Palapala matter, calling for him to step aside and not contest for a second term as a party leader. Lamini is challenging the Electoral Committee's decision, whilst Yengeni expressed his dissatisfaction on social media, saying the disqualification of members will finish the ANC. There will be a backlash uh, to this, and this will pose a threat to the ANC, and also it, it might... Uh, you know, make some people agitated and uh, uh, want to collapse the uh, conference of the ANC when they see that they are being purged um, uh, in this fashion. The Electoral Committee will soon publish a full list of those who will be disqualified from standing for positions at the conference next week. So we will then uh, publish a full list once we are done with the vetting process. So we'll, we'll appeal for a bit of patience on, on OBR and other ANC members so that we finalize the, the vetting then publish a full list. Meanwhile, those under the ban of the Khalema disputed NEC list are intending to file court papers on Sunday. The group wrote to the Electoral Committee of the ANC on Monday objecting to the NEC list that was announced last week. They have since escalated their matter to the Treasurer General of the ANC, Paul Mashadile, and have not received a response. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.